Sindh, the southernmost province of Pakistan, the land of the great Indus River and the culturally rich prehistoric Indus Valley civilization, is now home to many of the poorest and most marginalized people in the country. Having the highest human development index in all of Pakistan and with 40% of the population surveyed as chronically poor, the province of Sindh has over the years seen more than its fair share of hard times. After the recent catastrophic floods of 2010, tens of millions of people lost their homes and villages. Many of these displaced families are still struggling to survive on a daily basis. In the midst of this adversity, braving the formidably hot temperatures of this mostly desert region and daring to take on the illiteracy, poverty and despair encountered continuously in these districts, we find RDF embodying hope and progress for the hardest hit and most destitute. The RDF team is a group of refreshingly down-to-earth and deeply committed individuals who share a vision of betterment and progress, beginning with the neediest. RDF's main theme is research and development. Development of communities. The main objective, rather I would say the vision of the organization is of equitable and eco-friendly world. What do you think about this? I think it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing. RDF's vision is far-reaching, addressing critical issues of livelihoods, environment and appropriate technology, climate change, governance, disaster mitigation and quality education for all, to name a few. Of the 23 districts in Sindh, RDF is currently operating in nine districts with successfully completed projects in another two. Their approach is to strengthen society from the bottom up by innovating solutions through social mobilization, reinforcing community participation, and providing access to knowledge, resources, and services for the marginalized and disadvantaged. Prior to the floods of 2010, RDF has remained very actively involved in a variety of environmental and poverty alleviation projects. We are researching on energy efficiency options and we are also identifying best practices for water resources. In addressing the increasing scarcity of water, especially for irrigation purposes, RDF undertook an eco-agricultural and livelihood project. Under the project, a number of drip irrigation systems have been installed in village fields. यह सांवट दे जब वो सब पानी तमाम सीधी दुखोटा ड्रिप सिस्टम में तैयार हो तो सांवट तमाम पानी घनी खोटे ही आसानी थोड़ा नौ तरीकों आने के आसान जगह से अपन आएं उन्हें जेक करें जगह से सायो तरीकों इस्तेमाल के आने में सांगे तमाम घनों फायदे वाब खास तर दे पानी जी बचत जेक करें Seed and fertilizer support has also been given to vulnerable farmers, enabling them to recultivate their agri-lands. To address the issue of indoor air pollution and reduce the emission of greenhouse gases, RDF installed a number of smoke-free stoves in the villages of Dadu and Tatta. Training sessions on the manufacture of these stoves were also given to villagers, particularly to women, who went on to install more of these in other villages. Furthermore, to promote food security for vulnerable families, kitchen gardens have been established and women provided with seeds, tools and training to maintain the plots. As part of this project, RDF has specifically provided women with productive assets such as poultry to augment their family income and improve livelihood conditions. The provision of sewing machines has proven to be a great success enabling the development of industrial centers. Here, skilled women have an opportunity to not only teach other women how to sew and embroider, but are also able to produce handicrafts for local markets. <laughs>
चार डी एफ आयो अस मन इदारे में बारह हजार रुपये दिन ही मिशन वतम छोकर आई मन मन सीखन थी पंजा रुपये चे तू गरीब हाली महीनो डींदे अस सीखी तैयार थे जोड़े ते तो वो वा सही या निबेरो थी पवो हाँ सुठा हूँ अस सही गुजारो तो थे RDF has also assisted both women and men in the setting up of small village shops by providing them with grocery items and contributing capital. A major aspect of the project is tree plantation. Several hundred saplings of fruit-bearing and shade-giving trees have been sown and are being regularly maintained by villagers. The landscape of RDF project areas is dotted by the protective enclosures of these growing saplings bearing the promises of a greener and more fruitful future for these communities. Under the auspices of UNDP GEF SGP and the Benazir Housing Cell Government of Sindh, RDF has successfully undertaken the construction of low-cost energy efficient housing in Tatta and Karachi. The poorest communities of the areas were targeted and their existing mud and stick huts were replaced with the new eco-friendly houses. Exclusively jo selection hui thi wo gareeb logon ki hui thi jisme hame not only government ne appreciate kiya donors hamare community hamari bahut khush hui. The unique design, material and constructional technique of the house makes it not only cost effective but also energy efficient and thus earth friendly. The house's design is characterized by a thermally efficient damp-proof pyramidal roof. Compressed earth blocks as opposed to bricks are used for the walls, subsequently reducing pollution caused by brick kilns. Each home comes with a smoke-free stove, solar lantern and an inbuilt solar panel. There is also one solar street lamp to every cluster of homes. Ye ta paano mein faisalo kare paise hisab sa ay paise paano mein vrast kare je ghar ko सवलाई से कम हली सके कोई कच्चा जगह असा के घर होया कोई असा के खत्म कराए जे RDF has trained over 500 skilled and semi skilled laborers to construct 200 of these energy efficient homes throughout Tatta and Karachi subsequently there has been a marked improvement in the security and living standards of hundreds of families more significantly the women of these marginalized families have been given ownership of the houses as a step to empower them We have also introduced several low-cost designs in different districts, and they provide a solution not only for the people of Sin and this country, but the whole globe. In another housing project, also undertaken with Benazir Housing Cell, RDF constructed 900 low-cost housing units in the districts of Nawabshah, Shahid Benazir Abad, Dandwalayar, and Hyderabad. पहले तो हम कच्चे घर में रहते थे, अब पक्का घर में आए हैं, तो हम बारिश से बचे हैं, हमारे बच्चे सुकून से रहते हैं, हम भी सुकून से रहते हैं. Each home comprising of one latrine, one kitchen, two rooms and a veranda were given to the poorest of the poor. Pakistan is foreseen as one of the countries that will be hardest hit by global warming. The increasing loads on natural resources and the environment is only adding to the dilemma. To help increase people's practical knowledge of this problem, RDF with the support of Oxfam GB has been engaging and educating people from every strata of society through establishing community organizations at the village level, creating child climate change clubs in schools, conducting trainings for journalists, bringing together civil society organizations and holding seminars for government officials. RDF has been raising awareness on how to reduce disaster risks RDF has used the mass media to convey this by having documentaries and a talk show on national TV and by facilitating the publishing of numerous topical newspaper articles. Recently, when the government of Pakistan passed a draft national climate change policy, RDF under Oxfam GB held consultative meetings to review and assess the community perspective of the policy. Rural Sindh has the least coverage of pipe water supply and sanitation in all of Pakistan. Access to safe drinking water is the lowest in coastal regions, particularly in areas that are at a distance from river systems. Here, surface water is not available and groundwater is often brackish. Oxfam GB awarded RDF a project to conduct scientific research on making saline water drinkable through the use of solar desalination plants. The aim was to come up with a solution to mainstream this technology and offer poor coastal village communities the know-how of simple desalination methods using household materials. 
RDF through a process of trial and error, developed and tested six solar desalination still prototypes for over a year. Based on findings of water output, practical availability and cost, improvements and amendments were made to each model till a successful prototype was finally settled upon. This model was not only cost-effective and practical, but also yielded 9 to 10 litres of drinking water a day in the summers. 100 of these solar desalination units have now been installed in Tatta and another 20 in Jacobabad and Dadu. Another research-oriented project was the establishment of RDF's fully equipped water testing laboratory in Hyderabad, created with the support of Oxfam GB. Formed as part of the water sanitation and hygiene activities in RDF project areas, the lab offers testing services on a not-for-profit basis. Kinjar Lake in Tatta is one of the world wetland sites protected by the International Ramsar Treaty. RDF constructed an eco-friendly floating hut to promote safe ecotourism. With an efficient and environment-friendly sewage disposal system, the floating hut serves as a full-fledged holiday home where a medium-sized family can enjoy the scenic lake surroundings. In the summer of 2010, Pakistan was struck by one of the most devastating floods the country had ever seen. With one-fifth of the land underwater, almost 20 million mostly poor people lost their homes, crops and livestock. In Sindh alone, 7 million people were displaced. RDF, with the support of its partners Oxfam GB, IRD, CRS, Trocare, Norwegian Church Aid, Caritas Austria, Concern Worldwide and Care International, began a series of urgent relief interventions in Dadu, Kashmir, Shikarpur, Tatta, Jamshoru and Nosheru Firuz. Assessments based on preceding discussions held with the flood-stricken communities confirmed that food security, safe drinking water, waste management, shelter assistance, revival of livelihoods, sanitation, hygiene and health care would require immediate attention. पेरा बीमारी थियो वरी जो यो आई आरटीए वारा आया तो वो हर शे जो दिन आतो उन जे बाप बाद असा के बारन के कुछ न थियो हाने भी वरी यो दिन आई यो दवा यो गोरी गोरी ने नई यो इस्तेमाल करे पानी में बारन के पियारे से बारन जो तबीयत भी सही थियो वर वेवा पण जो यो सफाई जो हर शे जो असा जी आई टेन वारा डाडी मदद कई आ जैसे फ्लड आया आरडीएफ का रोल बहुत ज्यादा एक्टिव रहा है डिस्ट्रिक्ट दादू के 250 विलेजेस में हम काम कर रहे हैं आरडीएफ का काम विजिबल आपको नजर आएगा सैनिटेशन एंड हाइजीन रैंक्ड इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट सीरियस इश्यूज अमंगस्ट द डिस्प्लेस्ड कम्युनिटीज देयरफॉर द वॉश इनिशिएटिव बिकेम वन ऑफ द प्राइम कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ आरडीएफ्स रिलीफ एफर्ट्स स्पेशल चाइल्ड टू चाइल्ड सेशंस वर आल्सो कंडक्टेड इन व्हिच चिल्ड्रन वर टॉट द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ गुड हाइजीन प्रैक्टिसेस थ्रू फन एंड इजी टू लर्न सॉन्ग्स स्टोरीज एंड एक्टिविटीज RDF's early flood relief efforts have helped 11,290 families through its livelihood rehabilitation projects, built 9,420 shelters through its shelter and housing restoration projects, and supported 75,000 families through its WASH initiative. In the multitude of projects that RDF has undertaken since its inception, it has always endeavored to maintain an approach that is transparent, rights-based, and focused on justice. तो हमारी टीम की कमिटमेंट जो रात दिन चलती रहती है और काम करती रहती है और उनकी एक एक नेक नियति है जिसके हवाले से अब हम कह सकते हैं कि ये हमारी आर डी एफ या हमारा इदारा जो है ट्रांसपेरेंट के हवाले से सही काम कर रहा है आर डी एफ अंडरस्टैंड 
is more than just about lack of material resources alone and has a keen sensitivity to issues of power balance, discrimination, and vulnerability that create the vicious circle of poverty. Subsequently, in all its project areas, it strives to build connections between the individual, the state, and the international community and foster a mutual sense of responsibility between each. With each and every one of its dedicated team members, whether working behind a desk, conducting meetings and seminars, or braving the adversity of this difficult field area, RDF has only one aim, to become a catalyst for a better life for the poorest in sin and help bring about a positive change in the world as a whole.